Hello everyone. In this session, hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn a hacker rank problem called cavity map. What does the problem statement say here is, you are given a square map as a matrix of integer strings, right? You'll be given a list of strings which consists of digits and it will be a square one, right? Square matrix. Each cell of the map has a value denoting its depth, right? So each cell represents some value. We can consider that value as the depth. We will call a cell of a map a cavity if and only if this cell is not on the border of the map, right? The cells on the border are not cavity, but other than the ones on the border, right? So they can be cavity cells or not, but the remaining con okay statement you can read for, for other conditions. It says we will call a cell of a map a cavity if and only if this cell is not on the border of the map and each cell adjacent to it has strictly smaller depth, right? All its cells adjacent to it has a value which is smaller and two cells are adjacent if they have a common side or an edge. And your job is to find all the cavities on the map and replace their depths with the upper character X. But other things you have to retain it as it is. They are given an input here and they are also given what should be the output and the explanation. Right? And they are also given one more input out here and then okay, they are also given an explanation. Now for explaining the problem in more detail, I have taken one as this input and another a little bit modified form of this particular input. Right? So let me just go back and try to explain the problem in more detail. The key points were captured here. If you want, you can pause this and then read the key points. Now, this is the first input. Now, if this is a input, what they said is like, uh, the adjacent cells are not cavity cells. So you don't need to bother about the adjacent cells. Other than the adjacent cells, we need to look into every other cell. And in case if it has a value which is greater when compared to all its adjacent or you can say all its adjacent cells have a value which is lesser when compared to the specific cell then we say that that particular cell has a cavity like for example if you take up this 9 we need to compare this with all its adjacent that is on top down left and right and you can just see all these adjacent cells have a value which is lesser than value 9 so while printing, we have to replace it with X, right? Let us take a one more example here. I have taken a matrix of 4 cross 4. Now again, as mentioned, you should forget about this border cells. We should never bother about the border cells. And we have to look into the other cells. Now first one, what will we take up? We will take up this 9. Should we replace with X? And the answer is yes, we have to replace because 9 is greater when compared to all adjacent, right? Then next we take up this 1. Should we replace? No, because the adjacent cells 9, 2, 7 is actually greater when compared to 1. So 1 will be written as it will not be replaced with x. The next cell, what should you use it is 6, right? This particular cell which has a value 6. Should we replace this? No, because... 7 and 9, that is up and right, they have a value which is greater than 6. Now take up this 7. Yes, we have to replace it with x. Please remember only up, down, left, right. We should not comp compare it with this one. Here, please don't compare it with this, this, right? Don't do this. Only up, down, left and right. Right? So it should be replaced. And since it is in a matrix form, you have the row index and column index and all to understand better, right? How do we check the row index, uh, previous uh, row element, next row element, previous column element, next column element, write down the matrix indexes like this and then try to understand 
okay how does the index value change like for example let us say if i consider this 9 right so if i want to look up for the top or you can say the cell on the uh, upside what do you see okay between uh, this cell what you have it here and here what is common and what is not common row index is common or column index is column right the row index is decreasing here the column index is remaining the same this part is remaining same wherein this part is changing this part is changing got it now if you look at down again okay column index remains the same but row index here increments by one right whereas if you look into the column uh, the left and right here so if you see left and right it's in there in the same row they're in the same row the column index decrements the column index increments right okay now based on that i have basically written down the statement like if it is one cross one then what is left right up down then for the next one right it is one cross two what should be the left right right and observe the pattern how does the uh, uh, left right up and down change based on the index of the key based on the index of the key right we have to basically generate uh, the code which okay to write the code to generate the indexes once you can generate the indexes we can always access the values and once you can access the values you can use it for comparison right okay okay i hope the problem is understood clearly right if you're not understood replay the problem and then you can give it a try to solve on your own right and after that come back and see how i'm solving it now here is the code for to read the input since they mentioned that it will be a square matrix of n cross n i've read the value of uh, the order of the map which is n and then here if you can just observe i have created an array of n cross n plus 1 the reason why i've used n cross n plus 1 is we'll be entering the input as a string format right so if you enter a string the number of rows are written as n but the strings also have the null character right so in order to make room for the null character i've just written n plus 1 right it's only for the retaining the uh, null character space for the null character and this is how we need to read the input right generally it is already given in the hacker rank also to read the input the next thing what i'd like to do it is i'd like to make a copy of this map right so in order to make a copy i'll just uh, create one more array i'll just call it as result array and then of the same size here after this i'd like to make a copy if you want to make a copy you can run a for loop and you can use a string copy instead of that we can basically use mem cpy mem copy right the first argument is a destination which is a result second one is a source and then third one is the size right so this one will copy the entire matrix in one statement without using any loops this will copy the entire data what is captured what is present in the map to the result array right and i would like to modify in the result array not in the original one now i need to traverse the matrix since i need to neglect the first row first column last row and last column for that purpose i'm going to start with one this is to okay because i will basically tells the information the row i want to skip the first row so i would like to start with the value i equal to one and i less than n minus one this minus one is because i don't want to go consider the last row right and then we start with column and i want to skip the first column so i'll start with one and j equal to n minus one this minus one is to skip the column last column this is for the last column to skip right so we have basically seen the starting and the ending side now the cell whatever you want to take it and compare with the adjacent cells i let me just call that as key and that i'll just capture it as i of j right i then o j column element then i want to compare with uh, up down left right 
so we have seen that okay for the up what will be the row index column index based on that we'll just capture in a separate variables we'll just say up right in the up what happens are we in the same row or in the previous row the up right if you want you can refer back to the question understand up is the previous row so i'll just be using the previous row column wise same column down right down is next row column is same this is up and down then for the left and right left equal to what happens here row remains the same the column is the previous column and for the right equal to row remains the same column will be the next one so once we have captured this then we can compare it it is it's easy for us to compare right and the benefit of capturing this into separate variables is like um, you can always uh, use the watch window and check out that have you captured this up down left and right values properly or not right now i'd like to start the comparison if the key element if it is greater when compared to up and key is greater when compared to down right and key is greater when compared to left and key greater when compared to right right then what should i do i need to replace i'll be replacing it in the result one not in the original one the reason why i'm doing it is if i replace that value with x then for the next cell if i want to compare with the previous cell or right then if i replace the value i'll not be able to fetch that value so i will like to retain the original array as it is whatever the modifications i'd like to do it in the result array right i of j should be set to x otherwise not now once we do this we need to print now to print what we can do it is we can just use this but instead of the map we have to print the value of result right no space required here and then we also require a backslash n and it is not scan f it is print f right now let's try to run this so what input to be given you can see the uh, input values from the hacker rank problem and then you can run this so first i'm trying to compile it and then try to execute this i'd like to work with the first input which is three and then i'd like to work with the given input 989 please don't give any spacing here 191 111 right output is as per expectations now if you want to verify with other input you can verify with the other input what is given in out here so you can just take up this code try to run this i'm not close this i'd like to run and i'd like to see the input here what is the order four right and then i'd like to enter it as one 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 two one nine one two one eight nine two remember this is a little bit different when compared to what i use in the slide one two three four what is the output triple one two one x one two one eight x two one two three four now things are working fine then we okay since it's working fine so to verify it is really passing all the test cases or not i'll take this and put it up. i just commented this statement the input statement i'm just going to take this put in the hacker rank platform I'm using it in C. I'm going to run this. It's passed the sample test cases. I'd like to run this. Right? The reason why I had to use a little bit of modified one in the slide explanation is when you take up this, the only things which were changing out here was 9. Everything else was same. So you should not think that wherever there is 9, it should be replaced with X it's okay for that purpose i've taken a different input you can basically check out with the other inputs and i can understand 
I hope the problem is clear and okay. You are able to understand the problem as well as the solution. The next task is we can actually do this without creating a resultant array. You don't really need to capture the result array and then okay modify the result array. Right? You can just start printing the elements. You take up the input and after this start printing the elements. If it is the corner cells print the element as it is. If it is not a corner cell, verify the up, down, left, right. Then either print X or either print the existing value. If you want to do this, you really don't require this. You start with 0 because I want to print directly from first row, first column to last row, last column. Now here what we'll try to do it is we'll basically verify if you are in the border. It's a border cell. How will you verify if it is border? I equal to 0 means you are in the first row which is border or okay j equal to 0. So I equal to 0 in the sense first row j equal to 0 in the sense first column either you are in first row or last row or last column last row what will be the value of i i will be equal to n minus 1 if it is last row and then j will be equal to last column right n minus 1 then we should print as it is we should don't do any kind of comparison we will directly print the value right i'm just going to use percentage c then map of i of j right these are border cells if it is not a border cell what will i do i will capture this information very same and here instead of capturing the result i'll print x right i print f okay otherwise i will try to print the same element the same element. but remember after every row you need to print a new line so for that particular case i'm going to use just to print a new line after every row right this is the end of okay else part and in a for loop printf backslash n close it right i'm not using the result array at all if you just observe i'm not using any result array at all i'd like to compile this and then i would like to run this program right since i commented the printf i need to start giving the input now okay first thing is the order it is three cross three nine nine eight nine one nine one 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 are we getting it so we can verify with other inputs i'd like to take this one and again uh, put into the hacker and problem i'm going to replace this please do observe the one what i placed here okay there is no result there is no result there's no mem copy right directly printing it here i'd like to verify right so this again shows you that we can solve a particular problem in different ways we can solve a particular problem in different ways right so you have to think of solving the problem in different ways fine if you have any better solutions you can post it in the comments thank you